you, you, you're going to hit Take because... Please, sir. I want some more. If you're black and you're a woman and you like other women, please do the black community a favor and stop pretending that you represent the black community. You do not. You represent black women that like other women. And please stop pretending that black people are about social justice. That is something concocted by these other groups that have their own self-interest at heart. They do not have black self-interest at heart whatsoever. In fact, most of those people who pretend that they're for social justice, hate black people, hate the black community, hate everything about us. They say that uh, black people need more representation, black people need this, black people need that. That is not the case. At the end of the day, when the table is set, black people are not sitting at it. And black women, who like other women are also not sitting at it. I've been doing some research and I came across a genre of music and movies that I've been interested in for years. And that was Afro sci-fi or Afro futurism. It is way overrepresented by black women that like other women to the tune of something like 50 to 60 percent of the material that you would come across promoted by YouTube or promoted on Google, you're going to find at the heart of it a black woman who likes other women behind it, talking about things like social justice and representation. We don't need any sort of help from any other group. We need to make our own culture, our own. Now, if you're a black woman who likes other women, please go and represent black women that like other women. There's nothing wrong with that. You represent your self-interest, I'll represent my self-interest. And the black community does not need social justice. We don't need any sort of group to help us. We don't need another group to lend a helping hand. We don't even need laws passed. We already have all the laws we need already passed. Because the only thing that passing more laws would do would make the very government that you black women who like other women are appealing to to gain more control over the black community, which the black community does not need. My take on Afrofuturism, Afro sci-fi, is the creation by black artists, not black women who like other women, expressing an Afrocentric version of the future. There is no need to ask Hollywood or any sort of Jewish enclave to put black people in an Afrofuturistic movie. That would be the job of the black artists and black investors. We have those. We don't need any other group to help us with that. We have Afrocentric artists. We have Afrocentric investors. You know what we have? A group called Pan-Africanism, whose whole purpose is to promote the Pan-African man and woman not over others, but simply to promote them to 
express our own power, our own wisdom, and such. And when I start looking at the what has been produced and then uh, wedged into quote-unquote Afrofuturism, you're going back to the same old thing that wasn't needed in the first place. Black people promoted by Hollywood. We don't want black people promoted by Hollywood. We want black people promoted by black people. Black people promoted by black investors. Black people are written and tailored to by black artists. That's what we want. Missy Elliott is promoted by white people. Jay-Z is promoted by white people. Beyonce is promoted by white people. If she puts on a shiny dress, that doesn't make her Afrocent Afrocentric futurist. She's promoting Beyonce. Jay-Z is promoting Jay-Z. Missy Elliott is promoting Missy Elliott. And if you're confused by that, especially in Missy Elliott's case, Missy Elliott will tell you every three seconds who she's promoting. Now, we have a problem. Black women who, like women, have been pushed to the front by Hollywood and they pretend that they're Afrocentric, that they're Pan-Africanist artists promoting an Afrocentric view of the future of science fiction. Now, for anybody who don't understand, who doesn't understand, who thinks that I'm talking some sort of racist ideal, white-centric has been the norm. You go to a movie, you see white-centric. Afrocentric hasn't been seen. The Black Panther movie was promoted by white people. The Black Panther movie had white investors. They're promoting, trying to wedge the Black Panther created by a white man into Afrofuturism. It's not Afrofuturistic, sorry. You cannot have something inherently black be produced and promoted by white people. It's going to be white-centric and it's going to be for white people. And you saw the very next movie was what? The Avengers Infinity War. And who did the Black Panther cheer on and help? The Avengers in a white-centric movie. Are you confused by this? Now please, black women who like women, just go ahead and identify yourself. Stop pretending you're for uh, the black community. You're not for the black community. Because you know what the backbone of the black community is? The black man. And I don't care how many of you come on my channel and say that you are in favor of the black man. There are too many black women who like women who despise black men are in positions of power to do harm to the black man, to do wrong to the black man, to visit evil on the black man. So please spare me any sort of, but I'm innocent, but I'm not that way, but that's not me. Not all black women who like women are like that. It doesn't matter. The damage is done. When the dam is broken and the river is rushing over your head, you, black women who like women, standing on the sidelines and saying, well, that wasn't me. It doesn't matter. The water is rushing in and we're going to drown. It doesn't matter. And no, I'm not asking you for any favors. I'm telling you, you should stop pretending. Stop pretending to be to be for the black community because you know you hate black men. And, and if you are any other sort of group who are pretending to represent the black community and you hate black men, please stop it. Please stop saying that you are promoting the black community. You're for women, you're for gays, you're for lesbians, you're for whatever. Just go ahead and say that's what you're for. So black men don't get confused and then have a dumb look on their face when they turn around and there's a friggin' sword sticking out of their back. We don't need that. We have enough problems. 
trying to get these social justice warriors from pretending that they're for the black community. Oh, black people can't get IDs. Black people don't understand how to go online and vote. Black people don't know how to go down to the DMV. A Jewish guy went and did interviews of black people in Harlem, and then he went out to Oakland, California, and asked all the lovely white kids, you know, who were 18 and over, who were 18, 19, 20 years old, to share their life wisdom about how black people don't have IDs, how black people can't go down to the DMV. And then when he presented this to the black people of Harlem, who were 18, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, they were like, who said this? That sounds racist. And of course it does sound racist because it sounds like you're talking down to ch children that they can't get an ID, uh, that, that, that black people are poor and broke and they can't understand the internet. And he also said, he said, do you have a phone? Well, yes, he, I have a phone and every black person I know has a phone. And of course they said, well, they also said, you don't have phones, you can't get on the internet. And they were like, who said these things? And he said, the liberals, the Democrats, who say that they're for black people. And they said, well, that is the most racist thing I've ever heard in my life. These are the people that we have to defend ourselves against. We don't need the assistance of black people, black women, who like women, pretending to side with those types of people. I don't know if you're confused, but maybe you're not confused. Maybe you're well aware of what they're actually doing. I'm libertarian. I'm not a Republican. I'm libertarian. I believe, we believe, that each person can carry their own weight and that the government should stay out of our business. You know what the government does when it gets into your business? It does whatever the government wants to do. That's what the government does. And the less that the black community has the government on its back, the better for the black community. Do you know why you get bonuses in your checks from Donald Trump? They reversed a lot of the government's power in taxation. Do you know why the unemployment rate for black people has dropped to the lowest that it has ever been in the history of them actually counting because Donald Trump got the government to reduce its power in getting in between you and your employer. Anything good happening to the population of the United States is when the government gets out of the business of the population of the United States. The only thing that the government is good for is protecting you. Now, do I have to explain? I guess I do. Your whole police thing, this is more the social justice warriors coming in, your whole idea that the police are against you, let me give you some numbers. Ten times. Let me be like, uh, what's the guy who came and said, Hillary Clinton, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. That guy. Let me be that guy for a second. Ten times. Ten times. Ten times. Police shoot and kill and murder white people 10 times more than black people. It, here's a fun fact. There are not 10 times white people in the United States than black people. There are only six times more white people than black people. So that means an overwhelming amount of white people are shot and killed by police to the tune of 10 times as much. They don't report this. They don't report this because they're afraid that there will be a revolution. You know, they would galvanize all of the different groups, white groups, right? They have divided and conquered all white people by dividing them into groups, this group, that group, blah, blah. Uh, we're fighting for this, we're fighting for that. Women's groups, which are white groups. Black women keep joining them for some odd reason. When it's not your fight, it's not 
trust me it is not for your benefit at all because at the end of the day the benefit is always going to go to the white woman for instance we have affirmative action which everybody's convinced is for black people shut up which everybody is convinced is for black people 90 percent shut up Anubis, 90% of the recipients of affirmative action are white women. That's it. Everybody making insulting remarks to black men. Oh, you're only on the police force because of affirmative action. You're only at this school because of affirmative action. No, sorry to burst your bubble. It's the white woman. In fact, it's, it's, it's so bad that white women think that they are owed affirmative action, that they sued, the woman sued, when she didn't make it into Harvard. She said, the black people on affirmative action stole my spot. And Harvard turned around and said, no, all the black people who are in the freshman class had 4.0 or 5.0 GPAs and were on varsity and were on the debate club and were on the chess club donated to the poor, fed the hungry. You didn't get into Harvard because we would not accept you. You don't make it, even on affirmative action. She went all the way to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court reiterated what Harvard told her. Young lady, you're not owed affirmative action, especially from a private school. I am trying to inform you, black women who like women, that all of these groups that you're belonging to, that you're trying to join, that's not your own, specifically your own, is not for you. You want representation from who? From Hollywood? From white people? Why? You, you want to be on the big screen? Why? We used to have our own entire movie system in the country, but people like you let that go to waste. You said this wasn't good enough. Well, I'm here to tell you now, you're trying to include black people who are promoted by white people, and all they're going to do is simply destroy the Afrofuturism. They're going to uh, destroy Afro sci-fi. They're going to call it racist and destroy it. Oh, that's racist. That's Afrocentric. That's black-centric. Meanwhile, all the stuff that they have is white-centric. Now, I'm not insulted that their stuff is white-centric. Of course, white people should show white people. Who else should they show? They know Bill and Ted. That's all they know. Who, do they know Kwame? They don't know Kwame. Why should Kwame get a starring role in their movie that they put money into? This is why the black actors that you see look like a bunch of retards on screen. Who, who, oh, you're so boss, uh, you know? Because it's promoted by white people for white people to watch. Here's another thing, just to go into a little bit more detail. The movie industry isn't just for the United States. It's also for places like Asia, who doesn't want to see black faces on their movies at all. And guess what? A movie that completely flops over here can be a fantastic success over in Asia. And they get all that money from Asia. All those Chinese, all those Japanese, they get all that money. India, they get all that money. So while you're screaming and crying about, we need representation, and you're siding with the social justice warriors who don't believe you can tie your shoe and chew gum at the same time, you're just going to paint yourself into a hole that you can't get out, namely that you won't be in the screen because they'll turn around and say, look, the janitor's black. There's your representation. When Matt Damon told the black woman that uh, representation happens in, in, behind the scenes, not in front of the camera, and the black woman's mouth dropped open, there you go. He moved the goalpost for you. Stop asking people who don't have your best interests at heart for scraps. You are not a dog. Stop acting like one. And if you're a black woman who likes women, just go ahead and form your own little group and say that's what you're for. Don't say that you represent the black community because most of you hate black men. So stop it. Thank you all for watching. Please share, subscribe, 